Hello and welcome to this box in the place for assistive tech reviews. Now if you're anything like me, right brained creative and have a mind bulging with ideas then sometimes it can be difficult to get what's up in hair onto hair in a way that allows you to express yourself fully and that others understand. Now if that sounds familiar I'm going to show you why inspiration may be the mind mapping tool to help you out. Now I've often been shown mind mapping as a more creative way to plan and write your essays and dissertations, which is great. But having already found a pretty solid way to structure and research my writings, I've often thought, what does mind mapping have to offer me? But after some research, it seems like mind mapping may have more to offer me than I first thought. Rather than seeing inspiration as just a creative tool to structure essays, I've started to see it more as a way to project your thoughts, ideas and processes onto the computer screen and manipulate them to give them more clarity. Sometimes working with ideas just in your head can be complicated, but mind mapping allows you to get that aerial view and see the bigger picture. So I'm going to show you how you can use mind mapping to simplify complicated information by using it to simplify and explain one of the things that's baffled me for years, the offside rule. Okay, so let's start our mind map. Now, if you're new to mind mapping, imagine those spider graphs or flowcharts that you used to use at school, but what if you could edit them, add audio, video, images, hyperlinks, and then export them to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint? That's exactly what mind mapping is. Now, when you create a new mind map, you're prompted to add your main idea to the first symbol. So we're gonna call this offside rule explained. Now, I'm probably the worst person to try and explain the offside rule because I know nothing about football, but that doesn't really matter because now we have YouTube. Now, this video was the main source of information for my mind map and using video as research is great, but it does throw up some dilemmas like where do you store it? Do you download it? Do you save the URL? Do you bookmark it? In Inspiration, you can create a hyperlink directly to the video from your idea simple, whether it's stored online or as a file. Just right click, add the hyperlink and you can easily navigate back to the video for reference. So the first thing that I learned about the offside rule is that it's only valid when you're in your opponent's part of the field. So the second idea symbol I'm going to call halfway line. These default symbols are great but you can make them more relevant by turning them into images. The symbols library gives you access to up to a million copyright free images. So if I type in football, up come a selection of images which I can then just drag into my ideas symbol. So you can fill your map with these, but I'm gonna be using my mind map as a presentation instead of something like Microsoft PowerPoint. So I want this to look really unique. And to do this, I'm gonna make a custom symbols library. According to the video, the offside rule was created to stop people hanging around the goal and waiting for an opportunistic chance to score. So the best way to add this kind of information to your mind map is to create a note. Notes allow you to add extra context to your ideas. So the offside rule was developed to stop the practice referred to as goaltending. You can pin your notes to the mind map to give you easy access or you can hide them to keep things nice and tidy. If you don't want to type, you can just dictate an audio note and play it back later. Dictate an audio note and play it back later. So moving on with the mind map, I'm going to add a custom image to the halfway line symbol and position the rest of the information below it so the position of my map elements visually represent the information I'm trying to get my head around. So we've got the where and the why, but the main gist of this rule is the relationship between an active player and the last defensive player on the field. So let me add my two defenders. I'll add my two attacking players. And just for fun, let's add a goal. So we're going to make this player offside. So this guy would be offside if he was past the ball from this guy as he is in front of the last defensive player. This will forces the player to be somewhere within the action of the game rather than just hanging around the goal. To give this more context, I'm going to connect these two players with a dotted line. I'll also connect these two players to show the connection between them. And that's it. It's a pretty simple rule. Onside, offside. Onside, 
offside, I'm not really sure why people have so much difficulty with it. So there are also some caveats to this rule. There are times when you can beat a player in an offside position, but not commit an offence. So these situations are during a goal kick, a corner kick, or a throw on. So as you can see, my mapping has allowed me to take a complicated idea and use audio, video, images and text to create a mind map that gives me a clear understanding and allows me to share my workings with someone else. Now this is just one of the things that you can do with mind mapping and the only limitation to what you can create is your own imagination. Here's some examples of how other people have used mind maps. File management, to-do lists, life hacks, my maps have even been submitted instead of dissertations at PhD level study. Now I know I said at the start of the video that mind mapping isn't just a tool for planning essays, but while we're here I might as well show you how you can turn a mind map like this into a text document that you could use to hand in for an essay. So here you can see one that I finished off a bit earlier, I've filled in more of the notes and just made it a bit more presentable. So if you open the mind map in outline view, here you can reorder the notes to create the right flow. When you're happy with it, it's time to export. I'm gonna leave the mind map at the top of this document and get rid of everything else but my notes. Click OK, save, and your mind map is now a nice linear Word document. So there are a few mind mapping packages on the market, but what makes Inspiration unique? Well, although it's used in business, the price point and feature set are squarely aimed at the education market. So PhD to primary students can find a way of working which best suits their level of study. So if you like what you see, take a look in the description below to download a free trial. And if you want more videos about the potential of mind mapping, then subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want all of our videos, podcasts and articles, you can find those all at thecodpass.org. But for now, I've been Sean Douglas, this is Disboxing, and I'll see you next time.